There are a couple of interesting wrestling news stories Wednesday, and one of them revolved around Brock Lesnar and some reports that he might be looking to fight again in the UFC, and it might happen as soon as November. I believe there's a UFC show in November, I believe, in Madison Square Garden, but correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, But that was kind of surprising. I mean, I I imagine we were going to start to speculate on Brock Lesnar's future, as we all pretty well know, I believe at this point, that his contract expires after WrestleMania 34. And I believe he's get, he's 39 years of age, maybe 40, but I think 39. So you're at a point now where he's been back in the WWE since 2012. Just think about that. So WrestleMania 34 would mark six years back. The ironic thing is, even in a part-time status, his second run with the company was much, much longer than his first. His first run was basically two years. This run has been going to end up being at least three times longer. So was the WWE going to give him another contract and pay him a lot of money for potentially diminishing return? I think it's also an important question to ask. You know, Who's really left for Brock Lesnar to work with? And at what point in time is it not really financially feasible for the company to keep him more financially justifiable because of the way they failed to create new stars, you just have a lack of opponents, viable, legitimate, real, interesting, compelling opponents for Brock Lesnar. And if you don't have the right opponents to get the most out of having Brock Lesnar, then you might just be better off not having Brock Lesnar and going away from him from a period of time. You could still potentially bring him back in the future, but why continue to trot him out there against a lessening level of importance of opponent to where you potentially diminish the Brock Lesnar star and you get a diminishing return out of his character to the point of where it would potentially not be very repairable. And you look at the active roster now. You're talking about guys like Joe and Reigns and Strowman. There are just not a lot of viable, legitimate, believable opponents for him. And if you think somebody like a Finn Balor is, fuck you. That's stupid. And you know it. But not just him. Bigger guys, too. I mean, just in general. It's not even a size thing at this point. Just who could you book against him that you would actually believe would beat him? You know, Cena would be one of the few others. But the last go-around we went with that, Blessner squashed the shit out of him at one point in time at SummerSlam 14. So, you start to look ahead. Would WWE consider after six years? Moving on. Would Brock Lesnar be ready to move on? And has Brock Lesnar got the itch to get back in the octagon sooner rather than later? So I'm not surprised to hear some reports that he might want to potentially get back into the fighting game. But what really struck me at first, and apparently the person corrected it later, but didn't bother to um, clarify it at first from what I saw, um, the November stuff, from what I remembered... And again, I could be wrong, but I'm sure I'm not in this case. His last fight at UFC 200 against Mark Hunt happened in July of 2016. He failed a drug test, ultimately got suspended in December of 2016 that was retrodated back to July. In February, Brock Lesnar notified the UFC that he was retiring from the fight game. He was retiring from MMA. At that point in time, that meant that only seven months of a 12-month suspension had been served. So even if Brock Lesnar notified the WWE tomorrow on July 20th, 2017, or July 21st, excuse me, 2017, or today, the date that this is being uploaded, July 20th, 2017, he would still have five months of that suspension left to serve. So how would he be able to fight in November when that's four months or less away, depending on the date in November that the fight would be, November 4th, November 9th? Whatever date it was in November, that's not even four months. It just doesn't make any sense. And what I really wonder about the WWE is even though they've given him the flexibility or the viability uh, to be able to go out and fight UFC, would they really want to risk him fighting in UFC come December or January when potentially that suspension would be up that close to the road to WrestleMania? What happens if Brock Lesnar got hurt? What happens if Brock Lesnar just had a CM Punk type of embarrassing loss? Not likely, but always possible. Especially if he got on them e-blockers again. What happens? It's an interesting question. 
You know, I'm surprised that WWE was so desperate to keep him that they would allow him the flexibility to be able to do it. But ultimately, if Brock Lesnar does decide to do it, he can do it. And there's really not much the WWE could say about it unless they tried to renegotiate a little uh, part of the contract and throw more guaranteed money to sit there and not fight in UFC. That's possible. I don't really understand why there's still an itch or a desire for Brock to sit there and fight UFC. Why make a decent payout to get your ass legitimately kicked when you can make even more money to pretend to get your ass kicked and to pretend to kick ass, well, in some cases with Brock, legitimately bust somebody open and kick their ass. Would you rather make a million dollars a fight having to shoot fight and do all the preparation and training that comes with having to be a shoot fighter? Or would you rather make about $5 million a year And just work an easy schedule of WWE dates. To me, I think the answer is very simple. You've already proven yourself. You're a former UFC heavyweight champion. You're a former NCAA heavyweight champion. Nobody can ever... It doesn't matter what you've done with WWE. It doesn't matter what pro wrestling is. Brock Lesnar has established himself. He's a legit dude. He's a legit badass. And nobody can ever fuck that take that away from him. And I'm sure UFC is itching and dying for Brock Lesnar to come back. Because the fact is, the biggest thing that people care about with the UFC right now is their top star in a boxing exhibition, frankly, against Floyd Money Mayweather. We're talking about Conor McGregor. So the biggest buzz for UFC is about a boxing match. Just think about that. So they're not in the best place in terms of star power, no matter how much the UFC heads, the dojo heads, I do MMA in a dojo, I'm a badass, you know, kick your ass, sit there and say it. They can always use star power, but frankly, anybody could always use more star power. And Brock Lesnar still means money for UFC, period. Absolutely does. I just don't see why Brock would have such a burning desire to get back into the fight game. And even then, we've heard absolutely no reports of him re-entering USADA's drug testing program. We've heard no reports of him notifying the, the UFC that he's unretiring from MMA, therefore restarting the clock on his suspension. We've heard none of those things whatsoever. And who's to say that Brock Lesnar would even pass a drug test this time around? Well, WWE ain't going to administer it because, again, he's apparently not an employee, but everybody else is. Will Brock Lesnar fight again in the UFC? I think there's a chance. I think there's a pretty good chance. He might potentially fight sometime before WrestleMania 34, but he might not. He might sit there and say, hey... While it's a nice money grab, and I might enjoy doing it, at what point in time is there a diminishing return for that value, whereas I could sit here and do this and make quite a bit of money and not run the same risk of getting my ass whooped as I would in the octagon. So it's interesting. And we're going to hear a lot of discussion about Brock Lesnar and his future with WWE and his contract status in the months to come. And I think it's an important question to ask is, You know, is the time to take the belt off of him now at SummerSlam? Are you going to stick with the original plan and have him carry it all the way to WrestleMania? Can you really sit there and have him versus Roman at WrestleMania be the main event? Is there really much of a desire to keep Brock Lesnar long-term? Does it make much of a sense to keep him long-term? He's been around six years. What more can he really do at this particular time based off of the current state of the company and their talent roster on either Raw or SmackDown? Those are legitimate questions. And I think for a lot of Brock Lesnar fans, they might not like the answer. The company may ultimately keep him around for a couple more years, and Brock Lesnar might stay there for a couple more years, because let's face it, I respect for the dude for this. Brock Lesnar knows how to exercise Lesnar leverage, and the dude gets paid a ton for having to do very little. He doesn't have to do a bunch of house shows, doesn't have to work a bunch of TV matches, Most weeks doesn't even have to show up at all. Gets to do his own promotion through his shorts via Jimmy John's. He gets to do so many things that other guys can only dream of doing. I don't hate on that. I applaud that. If the wrestling business had more guys that were able to exercise that type of leverage, it might be a better wrestling business and most certainly would be a better wrestling business for the talent. It would be. So we will see if Brock Lesnar fights again in UFC. I would be surprised ultimately if he didn't. 
I just don't know if it's going to come anytime here in 2017. That seems to me kind of pushing it. I would anticipate maybe somewhere in spring or summer of 2018 after WrestleMania 34. I would not be surprised, especially if UFC has another main event that goes by the wayside because somebody gets injured and or suspended, that they come with an 11th hour appeal and fork over a mil or two mil to Lesnar to come fight a couple of rounds and main event their card. So I do believe that we'll see Brock Lesnar again in the UFC octagon. Again, could be wrong, but I, but I think it's a pretty safe bet. He went back for UFC 200 when he won. Why wouldn't he go back and do it again? Because it could potentially open up other avenues to make money and this and that. I don't see why he should. I don't see why he would want to at this point. But if he really truly loves it, then, then good luck and Godspeed to him. Do what you want. I think the more interesting question is, though, is will Brock Lesnar stay with WWE after WrestleMania 34? And I think the answer to that question right now, honestly, is to be determined. 